Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this is uh, Everyday Carry Thursday. We're talking about safety pins uh, for preppers, uh, survivalists, and bushcrafters. And uh, there's just so many different uses for pins. Uh, safety pins come in all different sizes and materials. Uh, I prefer to have at least the, uh, the four main sizes, which goes from a two inch down to a quarter inch. I like stainless steel. And uh, of course, uh, they come in different colors. I don't really have a lot of preference for the colors of my safety pins, but you may. Um, so what are the, use, the different kind of uses for these uh, fishing hooks? You can actually open them up and do a slight bend uh, to the opening section and create a fishing hook. You can also use these to secure bandages, uh, to dig out splinters, uh, to uh, even remove ticks, uh, to lance uh, boils or blisters. Uh, anytime you do a medical procedure, though, you'd want to sterilize the, the safety pin, maybe through alcohol or with your lighter. Uh, it could be a makeshift awl or uh, a bait holder on a trigger mechanism on a trap for those bushcrafters that know what I'm talking about. Uh, a theft deterrent. You could actually pin together the zippers. Uh, maybe it's a lot better if you can actually go with the, uh, the zipper itself instead of the zipper pull. But depending on what kind of zipper you have, you just work with what you have. Uh, and this also not only keeps people from trying to just grab your backpack and rip it open and try to steal something, uh, it also helps secure your gear. So if you're going in the bush and you're walking through, uh, you know, a very dense area with brush and trees hitting your pack, uh, sometimes it could actually unzip your pack by accident. You don't even know it and your gear is falling out. So you can uh, kind of mitigate that by securing the zippers uh, together. And if you don't even have uh, any of these types of uh, uh, safety pins for that reason, you could always just uh, take a little bit of paracord and just do a little knot on your zipper pulls. Uh, the next thing you could use it for is to attach materials together uh, to make larger pieces of material, uh, such as like um, if you have several large, uh, you know, shamogs, for example, you could pin them together and give you a little bit of a sunshade. Uh, or you could actually mend something that maybe got ripped, a uh, piece of gear. Uh, you could also attach materials <clears throat> uh, to uh, create a camouflage effect. Uh, you could actually just uh, uh, pin together maybe a uh, uh, small, um, uh, you know, you know gr bunchings or groupings of leaves, uh, dry grass or whatever's in your area uh, on your packs, uh, clothing, uh, even on your shelter, you could camouflage it. Uh, with the aid of uh, these uh, safety pins. And uh, you could also uh, help um, to, um, especially with these needles, uh, these larger yarn needles, these are really good actually. These are made by Dritz. Uh, these are, it's all based out of um, the Czech Republic and they make these really high quality um, uh, yarn uh, needles and they call them uh, yarn darners. And uh, these are really heavy duty, large, uh, uh, large needles here. But uh, to get the, uh, like your thread, for example, to, uh, uh, to get in there, even though these are larger eyes of these needles, uh, these are a lot smaller. Uh, you could actually take the end of your, uh, uh, your safety pin and help to, um, to actually uh, to thread the needle. And, uh, and you can also use your needle uh, as a punch, just like your, uh, your safety pins as a punch or a sewing mechanism. Uh, to uh, repair your, your clothes or pack. It could be even a tent that got ripped. Um, it could also be used uh, as an emergency suture or staple. Uh, this would be really bad if you had to use your safety pin for that. Uh, they typically, uh, you know, uh, one of the ones that I've seen used that way is uh, the half inch or above size of safety pins are, are better for those kind of things. Uh, just remember to sterilize your, um, your safety pin. You can also take your safety pin and use it as a lock pick. Uh, that's why I don't recommend uh, pin cylinder padlocks or deadbolts. Um, you know, those are very vulnerable from picking. And so, uh, but you can definitely pick them with these, uh, especially with the larger one. I go with the largest one you have to use as a lock pick. Uh, the next thing you could use uh, for safety pins would be to uh, repair a broken uh, belt or a button. For the, for the belt, you could probably go with a couple of the larger ones. Uh, and for the buttons, you could probably just go with one or two of the smaller uh, safety pins. And uh, you could also hem your pants. Uh, take a, you know, a handful of the smaller safety pins uh, to hem it. Uh, you could also attach gear to your packs and clothing, uh, such as maybe a pouch system that doesn't have uh, uh, any way to attach it. Like maybe it's a non-Molly compatible uh, pouch, or maybe the pouch doesn't even have a belt loop. Uh, you could actually just uh, pin it to your pack or pin it to your belt uh, or a piece of clothing. Uh, you could also... Um, now this, of course, is kind of uh, 
maybe not necessary, but uh, you could take your, your pin and uh, uh, your safety pin and connect it to a tender source from a battery to create fire. So uh, the way you can make fire is that you would uh, complete the loop of the battery and you short the battery out for a moment and create a spark. Uh, so typically with like a nine volt battery, you can just take some steel wool and touch both contact points with that piece of steel wool and you get a spark and you know definitely you have fire. Now if your piece of, of steel wool is so small that you can't bridge the gap, uh, it would have to be a very small piece of tinder or steel wool and you can't bridge the gap uh, or if there's just a situation that it's just not wide enough to, to bridge the gap between the two terminals on your 9-volt battery, like your positive and negative terminal, you can take your, um, your safety pin and bridge that gap uh, just to, you know, to get the current to go to the tender. And so you'd have your, for example, your positive terminal touching uh, your safety pin, your safety pin touching the tender, the tender touching the negative terminal, and there you go. And lastly, it could be a uh, type of a, a scrub, uh, kind of like a, an etching tool or, to, you know, something that can make a mark. Uh, so if you had to make uh, or leave us an emergency message on something that was um, a harder material, you could actually take the end of this and scrape in a message. Uh, so these are just some ideas. Uh, thanks for joining me here, though, on Everyday Carry Thursday. Hopefully this was helpful. I know if you're like me, you carry a lot of little items around. And uh, some of this stuff is very useful, though, uh, especially for survival and everyday stuff. And so uh, if you have any ideas about uh, additional uses for safety pins of any different size and material, uh, feel free to put them down there in the comment section below. As always, you guys take care.